2,000 years ago, over 5,000 people followed our Lord Jesus Christ into the wilderness, listening to his comforting words and being healed of their illnesses. When evening came, the apostles approached our Lord and asked him to send the people away into the neighboring villages to buy food for themselves. Jesus said, they don't need to go away. You give them something to eat. The apostles looked at each other in utter amazement. All the apostles had was five loaves of bread and two fish. Clearly, there wasn't enough food to feed over 5,000 people. Despite all this, our Lord Jesus Christ asked everyone to sit down. And then he took the five loaves and the two fish, blessed them, broke them apart, and gave them to his apostles to distribute. In the Holy Gospel today, we hear an amazing thing that happened. And as the apostles passed out the bread and the fish, the original quantity never decreased. The food never ran out. Everyone was fed, and when they ate to their heart's content, Jesus instructed the apostles to gather the remains. In the end, they ended up with 12 baskets full of leftovers. We never get tired of hearing this wonderful story. Maybe it's because it is so familiar dealing as it does with our daily sustenance. This account is in the Holy Gospel. It is not there just to tell us a miraculous story. It is there to teach us some very important, profound truths about God. The most important truth of God is that he sent his only beloved son into the world that whoever believes in him would not perish. A great deal of people followed our Lord Jesus Christ listening very carefully to every word and teaching. Of course, Jesus still speaks to us today. We can still hear his encouraging words in the scripture. We hear his teachings in the divine liturgy, and we can also hear his voice as we become silent and still in our personal devotional time with him. Jesus is always concerned about us. As the Holy Gospel tells us, the Lord was concerned about the thousands of people who were hungry. In another part of the Holy Gospel, telling us the same story, the Lord is pictured as asking the Apostle Philip about the hunger of the people. Maybe of even more significance was Jesus himself must have been hungry yet he is more concerned with the hunger of others. There is a far more important significance attached to this miraculous feeding of the multitude than all that has been mentioned up to now. It is. Jesus is to us what bread is to the body. Just as the body cannot live without food, we cannot truly live without Christ. Just as the food we eat become part of us, in the same manner, Christ must become part of us, part of everything, making up our lives and actions. If Christ is our spiritual food, how can we receive him abundantly? We can receive him in holy communion. This, after all, is the main purpose that we gather every Sunday to receive our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ into our very being. The invitation is extended in every divine liturgy to the faithful baptized Orthodox followers who have prepared themselves properly. Throughout the world, thousands and millions are fed each divine liturgy with the food of the Blessed Eucharist. As you can plainly see, the multiplying of the loaves still continues to this day. 
There are other ways in which we get spiritually fed by Christ, listening to his teachings and then living our lives according to those precepts. There is fasting, there is prayer, there is good works to be done. There is the act of just loving him, caring for him, thinking of him, making Christ our first and especially uh, being kind towards one another. These are all good works that we need to continue to do. At the end of our earthly journey, it is by all these things that will enable us to live with Christ throughout eternity in the heavenly kingdom of God. My dear brothers, sisters, visitors, and friends, Christ said in a most simple way, I am the bread of life. If any man eats of this bread, he shall live forever. Again, I am the bread of life, Christ said. If any man eats of this bread, he shall live forever. Blessed be the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.